Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In this session, we'll discuss how to cancel the invoice. For example, we have created an invoice in account payables module. And after creating the invoice, we would like to go for cancel the invoice. How we can go for cancel the invoice? We will have to go to the task called navigator and go to the invoices tab here. Once we go to this invoices tab here, we are going to have the different uh, options. Let's go to this task here. Let's say this is our invoice number, W1. W1 is the invoice number. Go to the tab here, invoice actions. We have two options here, cancel the invoice as well as uh, delete the invoice. We have both options. So in the cancel invoice, we can go for cancel the invoice accordingly. Right. So when we go for cancel this invoice, it will show that whether it's possible. Yes, the invoice will be canceled. Do you want to continue? We can say yes, we can go for continue. If at all we want to go for delete the invoice, we can go for delete the invoice. Now the invoice has been cancelled successfully. Now we can find the status. Cancelled, accounted, partially accounted. Still payment is not done for this invoice. For this invoice, payment is not done. So, so this invoice is already accounted, but now we have cancelled. Let's go for save and close. Again, search for this invoice. I'll click on this number. We can find that invoice has been cancelled. This is the invoice status. For example, if at all we want to go for delete the invoice, there is option here, delete invoice. The action is not applicable for the invoice in its current state. So we cannot delete this invoice because the invoice is already accounted. We have just cancelled the invoice. Okay. So sometimes we wanted to check this information from the back end, means from the database point of view. I want to know what are the invoices has been cancelled. Front end, okay, it's fine. Uh, what we can do is uh, we will go to manage invoices task here. Let's go to manage invoices task here. And then we are trying to search. Here we can search for the invoice and we can find what is the invoice status. At least three characters are required. It's okay. We'll give the invoice date as today date and we'll go for search. Invoice number, at least three characters. It's fine. We'll choose this based on the supplier advanced corporation. Supplier is advanced corporation here and click search button. Now we can find the status is here cancelled. I would like to see this information in the back end. Generally, for functional consultants, it's not required. Sometimes it is required because when we are working with conversions, for example, FBDA, we are trying to migrate the data from legacy systems into Fusion Applications Cloud. So let's say we have total. 10,000 invo invoices, out of 10,000 invoices, 9,500 successfully loaded. We have to check that count in the base tables and uh, 500 invoices not loaded successfully. So that we have to check in the interface tables and we have to go for verification of this information. Here. So what we'll do is now uh, in that scenario, we have to log in as an uh, BI publisher. We have to log in and say BI publisher consultant here. Let's let me go to a new private window. Search for this task here. Go to tools menu. There is an option here, reports and analytics. We have to go to the task, reports and analytics. 
If that reports and analytics option is not available in the tools menu, we have to go to configuration and verify our uh, partners management. Any others option we don't have here. It seems the current user does not have that access for the reports and analytics. Okay. So we'll log in with another user. Uh, this, it seems the current user does not have the access for that. Yes, this user is having the access to reports and analytics. Go to tools menu, reports and analytics, click on this. Then we'll be able to find the details. Generally, it is not required. It's required for technical consulting. But still, if we say that uh, as functionally we involved in the data migration, then we are supposed to verify the data is loaded or not into the base tables and interface tables. So that time we should have some basic idea about the query. SQL queries for reporting. So go to create data model here. Click on the data model. Then we will go for query this here. And write the query here. Select start from AP invoices all is the table name. I wanted to have the invoices which are created recently, ordered by creation date, descending order. So we are going ahead with this. And now we can find the information here. Go to this tab, data, and click view button. And we can find the status here. Cancelled. Approval status is the column which contains cancel. I would like to know how many invoices has been canceled so far. So what we'll do is we'll write a simple query like this. Select count star from AP invoices all where approval status equal to cancelled. Now we can find the total number of invoices which has been cancelled. 556. That's the total count. Okay. So this is how we can go for uh, find the invoice, how to cancel the invoice. And once it is done, how we can go for delete the invoice from the database. And if at all we want to query this invoice information, how many invoices are cancelled so far from the database. This is the only place where we can connect in the SAS model. So if it is technical developers, they'll go for writing the queries, build the XML reports, PDF, XSL templates, and CSV files, ODBI analysis. Uh, they, they'll go for in-depth of writing single query, multiple queries, XML busting, parameters, list of values. That is there. So we don't need as a functional consultant these options. Just for information we can have. Okay. Thank you.